good morning and welcome to leave it up i know it's what it is 10 24 oh my god i'm usually <laughs> here early nah it was because it was the fourth of july and then i'm in this high rise i'm in a high rise i'm in a high rise so and then everybody everybody wants to be popping these fireworks they was going off all <laughs> hours of the night I was like, oh my God, like they not tired. <laughs> like they not tired. It was like two o'clock in the morning. And it was just, the, it was the big, big fireworks. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, they having fun, whatever. They having fun. And then, you know, I saw Cardi B was in the Bronx. I'm like, what? Cardi B is in the Bronx? I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I know if I am rich and famous, I am not coming back to the Bronx. Like, I'm not coming back here. Like, the Bronx, I had, my group home was in the Bronx. I grew up there. My high school was in the Bronx. Everything is in the Bronx. I live in the Bronx. Like, if I get <laughs> to be rich and famous, I'm not coming back here. I don't want to visit nobody. I don't care about nobody. Over here, all this black magic and all this shit these people doing, I don't want to be around none of them. Like, I want to get away from here so bad. Like, I want to move so bad. And it's like, I'm fucking here and I have to just tolerate it. I have to just deal with it. I have to deal with it. I have to, you know, the noise at two or three o'clock in the morning. It's like, it's okay. It's fucking normal. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, <clears throat> if I was ever given the opportunity to get out of the motherfucking Bronx, I am not coming back here. I am not coming back here. I'm not coming to visit Nova. I'm not coming back here. I am out. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gone. Oh, it's fine. I had to go get my coffee. My coffee was ready. But, like, the Bronx. It's in New York City. Okay, like people can think it's so nice and it's so cool and it's oh my god you're in new york city yeah <laughs> about that it's noisy here it's a lot of violence it's a lot of crime it's a lot of injustices there's a lot of things that go on here you know i live here like if i was <laughs> if i was to be given an opportunity like okay you're gonna go somewhere else we're gonna go somewhere else we're gonna move we're gonna put you somewhere else i'm out <laughs> i'm not gonna think twice i'm fucking out but it's like i would still help the bronx community i would still try to do my best and help the bronx community you know because i do live here i'm here you know and then it's like, I've always wanted things to change. I wanted things to get better. It's because I live here. That's why I want things to be better for the people that are here because I live here, you know, and I know how it is. And, and it's just like, damn, <laughs> just damn. And then it's like, it's just so difficult when you don't have a voice and you don't have, you don't have money, you don't have like money the resources you don't have the resources you don't know you don't know who is who because the people can help you and at the same same time they can sabotage you see what i'm saying like it's always noisy in new york city hold on it's always noisy here the noise the noise never used to bother me it never used to bother i've been here i'm 44 i'm gonna be 45 in november and the noise never used to bother me it was like it was just normal <laughs> it was just normal to me sometimes i'm talking and the noise is there and i don't even hear it i don't hear it it's so normal to me and i started noticing the noise is when he's so cute it's like he was like oh my god it's so noisy it's so i'm like oh i don't know i, I think it's because i like him <laughs> so that when stuff bothers him it's like i don't want nothing to bother him like i don't want, I want everything to be okay for him so then i know that the noise bothers him so i'm like oh my god like now it bothers me. <laughs> now it bothers me and i'm like i, I wasn't like that before but I think I think it's because I like I like him. But anyway, <laughs> the 
the return of Sanders. I'm talking, I went five minutes talking about Cardi B and coming to the Bronx on the 4th of July. Like, girl, you know, but everybody, you know, is different, you know? I know, I have an opportunity to get out of the fucking Bronx. I am getting out of here and I'm not coming back. I'm not coming to visit. No, I am out of here. I'm so gone. But <laughs> let's do some return. I'm gonna just do one return asunder. The purpose of a return asunder is to return the energy back to wherever it is coming from. To do a return asunder, anyone can do a return asunder. Anyone can do a return asunder. All it takes is a tea light. That's all you need is a tea light. And is your purpose? What do you want? What do you want? You want to return the energy back to whomever put it out there. You know, it's just a candle. It's just a candle. It's just a tea light. You think it's nothing. You think it's insignificant. You think carving in it is nothing. Like it's nothing's going to happen. No, this is, this is, this is magic. This is spell work. This is candle work. This is candle work. You know, when you carve in it, when you talking to your candle, you, you working, you doing something there. You know, your words have power. Your words mean so much. Rebuking the energy. Like, I rebuke this energy. Like, oh, hell no. This is not my energy. I am not accepting this energy. Your words have power. You know, but when you do decide to light a candle, you know, you just carve in it. Return to sender. R-E-T-U-R-N. Return. <laughs> to. To. T-O sender s-e-n-d-e-r return to sender it's just those three words that's all you write on it is those three words you don't need the black salt or anything else you just have to carve in it it's like once you carve in it those three words return to sender once that is written in your candle once you took that little bit of time it just takes a little bit of time to be like you know what i'm gonna do a return to sender today and i'm gonna get rid of this energy like they, they keep doing this energy they keep sending this energy out and it's like i could send it back <laughs> i could send it back you know and you don't need any of the extra stuff you don't need the black salt you don't need anything else you just need all you need is a tea light that's all you need you get a toothpick uh, a little knife anything carve in it return asunder that's it you have a return asunder so you light it and you give it the final command of a return to sender what do you want your candle to do i want it to be a return asunder i want it to return all this energy back to whoever put it out there i want the energy to be removed from me from my life and it's going to go back to whoever is putting the energy out it's energy it does not have a name you don't need to know who did what and where they're located you don't need to know anything you can just return the energy it's plain old energy energy is a real thing you know people carry energy double energy double energy the spirit of the double is energy people carry double energy rebuke that energy stay away from that energy because that is not good energy if it's not good for you you have to get away from it return to senders it's return all this energy back to whoever put it out there you know i'm gonna have a good life i'm gonna have a good future i'm gonna have a good summer <laughs> i'm gonna have a good summer and it's like god loves me like god covers me god protects me and then it's like i can pray like cover the people that i love like people that love me cover them too and protect them too from all this energy it's like oh my god protect them watch over them cover them and don't let anything come to them like don't let anything affect them i want them to be covered <laughs> if you know me i'm gonna I'm cover you you know but 
whatever. It's like stay positive and believe in God. Like God is everything. Like I don't go to church. I don't go to church. I don't have a religion, but I believe in God. And God is all powerful. God is all merciful. God is everything and it's like you need God <laughs> you need God in your life and God is a, is the one that covers you God is the one that protects you you know I'm with God and I want God to cover you God is gonna cover you and God is gonna protect you you know stay positive stay positive vibe high and lead with love and I know the sirens were going off but it's like it's just so normal i just keep going but <laughs> leave with love mm -hmm. bye